In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a kind of a company profile in PowerPoint with the help of the Morph transition. As you can see here, I've just put a kind of a profile, a big text here. Then I've added five different options here, idea, projection, target growth, time bound and services. And when I click, it will give you the detail of each option. So when I click, you can see here the idea comes at the center stage and then you can add some detailed text at the top. When I click, it will go back and then the projection comes then comes the target growth the time bound and the services so depending on the requirement you can increase or decrease these options and then the last one is thank you and if you are not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial Add a new slide and change the background to any dark uh, blue color background then go to insert shapes from the basic shapes I'm going to choose uh, oval shape draw a small oval shape exactly in the center and you can see here let me just make it align center align middle all right again if you want you can just reduce the height and you can increase the uh, width and again once you do again you have to make sure to align center and align middle and shape outline make it no outline and color i'm going to fill this with some uh, dark blue color again can you see here this color now i'm going to give some shadow effect for that press ctrl d to duplicate and here i'm going to give again somewhat dark blue color here you can see and here i'm going to the effects go to the soft edges and increase the you can see here the soft and just put it exactly in the center like this all right then i'm going to add one more oval shape go to insert shape select the oval shape again draw the oval shape something like this okay shape outline make it no outline and send to back make sure that the from the back side it should be less and here it should be more okay you can just align it again make sure that it is aligned center all right so once this is done again i'm going to give the same color here okay which is not visible you can just make it a somewhat transparent and then i'm going to select this shadow effect press ctrl d to duplicate and increase the size and put it here let me just increase it further and send this to back you can see here now we have added this shape and again if you want to give some more uh, effects here i'm going to select this one the big one press ctrl d to duplicate i'm going to reduce the size a little bit and here what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the gradient fill gradient fill i'm going to use two stops one stop i'm going to choose the color which i have used in the background okay and the second color which i'm going to use which I've used it here okay and then what you need to do is this color you have to just drag it and then put it here send this to back okay you can see here and still more you can do it like this okay and one more if you want you can add it one more let me just reduce this height and press ctrl D again reduce the size further and then send this to back so you can see here we end up getting a shape something like this and once this is done i'm going to add few options here okay so go to insert shapes select the oval shape again draw the small oval shape by holding the shift key okay and put it exactly in the middle make sure that it is middle of the slide or i can just say align middle and then bring it down here all right then shape fill i'm going to use this kind of a turquoise color shape outline make it no outline then i'm going to add four more options so hold the control shift key and just drag it here one and i'm going to drag it one here again you can drag it and here also hold the control shift key and drag it here also and then make sure that it is properly placed it at the top 
okay something like this so once this is done what you can do is you can just add few icons here go to insert icons and randomly I'm going to uh, select few uh, five icons so one two three four and maybe five and click insert move it here height and width I'm going to make it as 0.3 very small one graphic fill I'm going to make this as white and then place it exactly on top of each oval shape here we can see here all right so it looks something like this all right then what I'm going to do is I'm going to group this this and this group it either you can select like this by holding the shift key also and press ctrl G to group it select this one hold the shift key select the icon and press ctrl G to group it right once this is group what you can do is I'm going to create a new slide here right mouse click and say duplicate slide and now for me this option should come on top okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the control shift key I can increase the size like that and I'm going to put it here in the center exactly like this all right and then this option on um, this particular slide go to the transition slide and select the morph okay it comes like this and the duration you make it as one second so let me just play so the first slide should be none okay the second slide onward it should be morph okay so if I click it comes like this you can see here all right so now what I'm going to do is I can add some text so add the text here title here white font or you can just choose this font turquoise a color and make it open sans font or any font of your choice and make it maybe a semi bold and put it here then at the top you can add some detailed text so equals lorem with within bracket one and give the same reduce the text and put it here so you can see here this is my first slide now what I'm going to do is is simple I'm going to just duplicate the slide and I can delete this one and then I'm just going to select this one and increase the size and put it here okay now what I'm going to do is from the first slide I'm just going to copy this one and come to the slide number three and just paste it here okay so let me just show you how it works now this is one it's come like this okay now again I can just duplicate the slide all right now I'm going to delete this part and increase the size of this move it here and then come back to the slide number one I'm going to select this option and then paste it here so let me just do it again so this is my first slide second slide my third slide all right so likewise you can just copy and paste and delete the one and that's it so that's how uh, your morph transition will look like